That he said to one person. To this person he says, foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests. Now, <clears throat> scribes tend to just quote standard scriptures. They've been taught in seminary for this problem, quote this scripture, for this problem, quote this scripture. And their ministry to people and their counseling of people is based on academic understanding of the Bible. You know, just like people are employed by computer companies to answer customers over the phone. And the customer asks for a problem and this guy looks up on the computer. That particular problem enters that into the computer, gets a reply on the computer and reads it out on the phone to the customer. This is not how we are supposed to do ministry. Ministry is to be done by supernatural discernment. That's why we need the anointing of the Holy Spirit to have the, exactly the right word. Like the Old Testament prophets, when they were anointed by the Holy Spirit, they had exactly the right word for each person who came. Ministry is a very costly affair. It's not something you can do just by studying the Bible. You've got to walk with God. When you walk with God, that fellowship with God will give you the right word for each occasion. And that's why you find Jesus always said different things to different people. For example, when there was the Pharisees who wanted to stone a woman caught in adultery, well, Jesus didn't give them a big lecture on legalism. What would you have done in such a situation? He didn't give them a big lecture on compassion. He sought the Father. He waited for a few moments and that's why he was scribbling on the sand to be clear in his mind. And as soon as he heard from the Father, he just said one sentence. He who is without sin among you, let him cast the first stone. That's all. And they went away one by one. It wasn't a sermon that solved the problem. It was one sentence. This is an example of the way we can walk as well in our ministry if we walk with God. There's a price to be paid for.